One of the most exciting features in Flash Professional CS6 is the ability to go ahead and export your Flash content as HTML. Very exciting being able to do this. It's done with this extension called Toolkit for CreateJS. In fact, I already have that extension installed in Flash Professional CS6. You can see it right here. But let's take a look at this animation. So I'm just going to run this. Again, pretty straightforward SWF file. We have some motion in there, and I can take a peek at the animation. Right in here, I can scrub through it, and it's done with classic tweens. Uh, nothing too complex is going on here. In fact, I do want to keep it somewhat simple. Uh, no blend modes or anything like that, uh, because I want to make sure the integrity of the design and animation is maintained. Uh, but then all I need to do is go over to my toolkit for CreateJS panel. This uses this open source JavaScript framework. And as I kind of move on down, uh, two dialogues you need to keep in mind. One is, of course, the export settings. So I'm just going to target my desktop. Okay, so there's the SWF file from earlier. I'll choose that desktop folder. And what will get output to my desktop are an images folder, if needed, sounds, and then a libs folder, which is all my JavaScript that you'll see in a second. Uh, there's also just export HTML. In case you don't want to export the HTML, you can actually take the JavaScript only, uh, but then compress everything down as well. All right, let's go ahead and hit the magic button, which is the export button. I'll click there, and it will automatically give me that preview. Just like that, there we have it. In fact, if I right click, you can see it doesn't say Flash Player uh, in this file. So this is actually HTML content. This is great. So let me go ahead and take a peek at my desktop right in here. Uh, here are my first two files. Well, here's my other files that were being generated. And overall, you really don't need to worry about these other files, but if you take a peek in this libs folder, uh, you can go ahead and see these different JavaScript files that can be used for tweens, for timelines, for movie clips. Uh, nonetheless, in here, in this main folder, you can see that I have this swimdog.js, and most importantly, this HTML file. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up in Dreamweaver. Here it is in Dreamweaver. It's using all those JavaScript files as well as that JS file for that swim dog. As I scroll down, uh, that one dog on the stage is being referenced right here, and it gets added to the stage just like that. And I can start to control it further if I want to as well. But the great thing is, is this is actually in JavaScript now, so I can go ahead and start using it. Uh, so lastly, I can go ahead and run it one more time, and you can see that it's working. And if I want to go ahead and extend it even further, I want to show you that you can also check out the help in the panel as well. Really exciting things you can do. This is just only the beginning, uh, getting your content in HTML, and just going from there, adding even more interactivity, but really a lot of your animation and even your interactivity can even be done in Flash Professional CS6. Uh, very exciting what you can do. I encourage you to check it out for yourself.